here. We're playing a new game called Project OPM, aka One Punch Man. If you guys know what that is, it's a pretty cool anime. You have to check it out. There's like, like a but like yeah, there's just it, it's a lot of things. But the main character is someone who's really OP, who can basically, as you know by the name of the anime, is a One Punch Man. He just punches one, uh, one person in one punch. Bam, they're dead. But we're playing this game. Again, it's based off of One Punch Man. The same class is from One Punch Man. There's Ninja, Esper, and if you don't know, Esper is like a psychic type thing where you like pick up objects and stuff. And then, as you can see, I'm using Cyborg, which is really cool. And I might be noticing something. I did may or may not start this game before I record it, and I may or may not have gotten really, really addicted to it because I'm in love with this game, and I may or may not prestige. And I may or may not be level 255, but the good thing is, I can show you guys all the forms, or at least the form, for this class. And I can show you all of his moves, and since I'm OP, I can even show you how you can usually fight the Sea King, which is the strongest NPC, until they uh, add Boros from uh, the uh, alien race. But until then, I'm sticking with the Sea King to grind. But, the first skill for the cyborg is the rocket punch. Now this thing, it's pretty basic, you know, a normal punch, but with a little range to it. And it's pretty strong whenever you start upgrading your energy. And if you guys don't know, for cyborg, okay, you need to upgrade your energy for your moves for the cyborg to be able to be stronger. Because upgrading strength is pretty much useless. The only reason why I ever upgraded it was whenever I first started out to kill NPCs, like civilians and regular thugs, that's it. Now the next move is going to be the X move, which is a booster stomp. This is just, the, it does the same damage as Rocket Punch, but it has an area of effect. And it's a lot bigger. So, you can basically just use that move, and then use your X move with the combo, and do up to 1,500 damage whenever you have max energy. Now, the next move is pretty much the highest damaging move in the game, besides your ultimate, which is your B move. And this is the machine gun blow. So if I just use it on all these people, it releases about like 10 blasts. And, wow, he's a low level. <laughs> I didn't even kill him. Oh, uh, what are you odds, dude? Wow. Oh, uh, let me actually try attacking this guy again. Is it, are they low levels? Oh, this guy over here is not low level. Rip him, though. Yeah, but anyways, if you guys also don't know, you cannot charge up your moves in this game. For example, if I want to charge this up, uh, actually, let's see my X move. Because my X move, you guys know, it does 750 damage, okay? If I charge it up, even if I charge it up full way and doesn't make any more sound, it, it just doesn't do anything and it simply does the same damage. So I don't know if that was on purpose or if that's just an accident and they forgot to implement the charging script for it and making it stronger. But that's, yeah, a weird thing. But the machine gun glow is pretty simple. You fire around like 10 explosions that do pretty massive damage. And I do 500 damage per explosion. <laughs> There's a bacon hair with the bean merch out to him. And then the next move. It's probably not really the best move. It's pretty hard to hit because people are they're all, like your opponent's always gonna be running around and stuff. But when it comes to NPCs, they're gonna come right to you. Now you wanna press B and you fly up and send an explosion right under you on the ground whenever you first uh, flew up. Owie. <laughs> and then the next move is your ultimate move. Now th this thing, look at this. It it just it called incinerate and it just obliterates anything in this path. I can literally one shot anyone in the game with this. Now, the next move is your end move. Now, this is your form. Now, to get your form, you need to be level 100, and you also need to prestige. You know, if you don't know the prestige, you gotta go over the settings, click prestige, and you have to be level 250 and have 100k again, and then when it click that button. But I'm already prestige, so I don't really want to do that. The reason why I did prestige was so that I could, um, get my form, because the form is honestly really good. So the form is your end move. Bam. You know, it's not the coolest in my opinion, but you do get a nice looking armor piece. You get some smoke for, for like overcharging or whatever, and you actually do go slightly faster. Now, this is like a pretty strong one too, in my opinion, because you gain 1000 HP. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I had 2080 HP previously, but now this adds on 1000 HP. Not only this, but it multiplies your damage by two. So, my one Z and X move did 600 or 750 damage. This now does 1.5k, and I can just one-shot anyone pretty much, like it's insane. Like, we even go over to the Sea King, which is the strongest freaking NPC in this game, it's just insane. But yeah, I am gonna try and get to level 300 eventually, if I, that I mean, is possible with the Sea King quest. You guys can see, he, oh, he's already teleporting to me, and incinerate him. 
and then use my C move. Now, the Cinerate does one-shot him, that's if he's not teleporting to you, because he has a move that teleports to you, as you guys saw. He's all the way over there, and he teleports to me. Now, right now, I'm only upgrading my defense, because I have max strength, or uh, max energy, because the max is 500. Like, if I try to upgrade this, it won't let me, even though I have zero points. And then also, the max agility is 100, so these are basically max stats, so I'm only upgrading defense from now on. If I ever do prestige, I don't think I ever will. Unless the alien race, whenever they goes out that soon, because they are, they just sound confirmed like, like when this game first came out, like in the um, update info, that they will be adding alien race. And all of that, they could be adding the Boros quest, which will now be the strongest NPC. And my predictions for the alien race, though, to be honest, is just gonna be they're gonna be weaker than most races, but they're gonna have regeneration, and so that's just gonna be insane. And obviously, they're um, freaking what's it called uh, transformation will be probably like overcharged, I don't even remember what it's called, but this guy, he was like at full power going max speed, yeah. This race, or not race, but class, is honestly my second favorite out of all the other classes. Wow, look at these guys trying to fight each other, all of you just die. <laughs> look at that, none of these guys can even kill me, like, here I am just simply grinding. Now, you guys might be wondering, you have two times XP. Um. Yeah, I do right now, but I bought it like after I prestige. Actually, I bought it a little bit before I prestige to help me out because I didn't realize it was even a thing later like Game Pass. Whenever I figured it out, um, that was the thing. That's when I actually bought it because it helped me prestige a lot easily. And I'm not my form, but I'm just trying to show you like you don't ever really need your form to one v one the Sea King. But yeah, if you do want to prestige and get to level two fifty, which again is the minimum requirement to be able to prestige. You want to just simply grind the Sea King at around level 160. Now, when it comes to classes, certain classes have certain stat requirements. For example, the Cyborg and the Esper class are required to have energy to be able to have her moves be strong for me. So, as you see, energy makes it stronger. Now, when it comes to Superhuman and Ninja class, those things take strength upgrade. So, that's pretty simple. Definitely a good uh, tactic to do. So basically, you use upgrade strength or energy, and then you basically don't even upgrade the other one because it's pretty pointless. Because you just want to use moves. You don't want to be punching around. Just yeah, it's just not the fun. So yeah, this is kind of One Punch Man project. Project One Punch Man. I'm. I really do like this game because it reminds me so much of Final Sand, but like another low level. I. Yeah. Um. I forgot what I was gonna say. Crap. This is what happens if you interrupt. But anyways. Oh yeah, I remember what I was saying. So this game is definitely really good. It reminds me of Final Stand, but like, it's just, it's so fun. It's really addicting. I know I'm not really doing much in this video. I just kind of want to showcase um, Cyborg. Like, it's really nice. Also, whenever you do transform, you don't just simply make your max HP plus 1k. You instantly gain 1k HP. So if you're ever like fighting someone, I suggest not to use your form right away. You want to save it. Similar to how Final Saiyan whenever it first came out, Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan 2 are like really rare. You want to kind of save your form for the health regen. And uh, I believe it also gives you stamina, I'm not sure. Do not quote me on that, but I'm I, I know it definitely gives you HP. So for example, I'm at like very low HP, I'm about to die. I can just use my form and gain 1H 1k HP right there. And then I can simply use one of my moves, like my C move, and just absolutely blur my, my opponent. Now, my favorite combo for this class, uh, I gotta wait for my cooldowns to be done, but it's probably gonna have to say my V move uh, as soon as I get it, and bam, and then use your C move. This is basically just an easy, easy, easy aerial strike. And it's a very pretty, it's like not too hard to <laughs> look at this guy. He thinks you can kill me low level. Oh um, my, this entire server, like, if you see a prestige, guys, be wild, because prestiging. I've only seen three prestige, uh, other three other prestige people. Two of them were ninjas, and the other one was a Sight Saitama fanboy or superhuman, if that's what you call it. But the superhuman uh, transformation, all you do is simply get like a red glow. It looks, it doesn't look too. I mean, it looks pretty cool. But the ninja mode, in case Sanic mode, it makes you super fast, like faster than my form right here. Which, if you thought I went faster this form. My goodness, the ninja mode, aka static mode, in my opinion, it makes you super fast. Not only that, but you get some like really cool particles, like lightning particles around you. Look like Ultra Instinct. When I first saw him, like, is this guy Ultra Instinct? But yeah, 
it, it's just a really cool thing. So yeah, guys, definitely do check out this game. It is 25 Robux, keep in mind. So uh, yeah, but in my opinion, it's definitely worth 25 Robux and only that. But you're also going to get a special reward after this game leaves uh, testing or beta, whatever you call it. It will be giving a reward. I don't know what the reward is. I'm hoping like maybe like some special like weapon item maybe or i don't think it would be a class i'd say probably maybe like an x maybe like a permanent xp boost something along those lines something basic because again this game is only 25 robux so it can't be like that op to the point where it's like oh you spent 25 robux to play our beta for uh playing and testing the game we'll give you um the op alien race that only beta testers beta testers can use so yeah i think i'm gonna end off the video here guys tell me comment down or comment down below and Bologna, baloney, early Simon. Comment down below if you think I should continue like doing other race videos or other class videos. If I should like give you tips on how to level up fast, because I would love to. But this is just again a showcase video to show how OP Cyborg can be. Again, you mostly just want to get 500 energy first, then 100 agility, and then to keep putting the rest into defense. So yeah, guys, I'm off the episode here. Hope you enjoy. And I'll see you all later. Bye. Die.